Hi everyone. Hello. So <laughs> yesterday we booked an appointment for our uh, COVID vaccine, and uh, we booked uh, a paid one for for me. For her, and uh, we booked the government uh, authorized free ones for me because I'm eligible for it and. She, Sadly, sadly, she doesn't have the Aadhaar card yet, so so we'll check both the options and uh, we'll see how it is and what's the experience uh, getting the free one versus the paid yeah. one and see what's uh, the difference between it. Okay, so let's keep going. See you in a while. Bye. Bye. just got the vaccination for Shen and uh, it went smooth and let's go and get vaccinated uh, for, for me yeah <laughs> so let's see let's go And it's really crowded here because they're offering a free uh, vaccination. Hi guys. <laughs> so we went uh, for the free appointment for free vaccination appointment for me. So, but when we went there. It was a super like crowded and it was a horrible mess. like mismanagement so now we are back here I rescheduled it to the same uh, hospital where uh, she got her vaccination so yeah we are back here again for my vaccination okay we'll see you later Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and uh, hope you guys are doing well. So it's been exactly like uh, 72 hours, almost 3 days uh, since we took the vaccination. Yep. So uh, we are gonna sit down, we decided to sit down and uh, talk to you guys how our experience was taking the vaccine. And uh, since uh, we booked a uh, paid uh, paid one also and free also so that's why we're gonna compare a little bit like how was it so first we went uh, to get chance vaccine for which was uh, at Columbia Asia near our home so Shannon will tell you like uh, how the experience was going to the paid version oh it went smoothly like it was organized 
but it took a little while during the building and the verification process. But after that, um, it just took like almost three minutes, three to five minutes to get vaccinated. And that's it. Yeah, yeah it was pretty smooth and organized. So, uh, first we went there and uh, we had to fill up a form. So, yeah, so that they could uh, uh, have all the info for billing and uh, verification. So, uh, yeah, it was organized. Uh, we filled out a form, then uh, there was a waiting area where you can sit down and uh, wait for your number. Uh, so, yeah, it, the whole thing took almost like 45 minutes. But it was very organized, you had. Uh, yes. So, after that, uh, we went uh, to my vaccination center, which happened to be like uh, 20 kilometers away. Uh, yeah, but uh, it took us like 45 minutes to drive there and when we went there it was uh, like uh, not uh, organized at all like uh, as soon as we walk in like uh, uh, so as you can see in the video before like uh, it was in a school so Probably. yeah so when we walked in uh, everybody was uh, walking in all those people who didn't even have uh, the uh, like appointment. appointment yeah those who didn't even have an appointment everybody was rushing in just to get the vaccination and there was nobody stopping them so and nobody knew like what was happening there we didn't know when we walk in like there are 500 people inside and uh, mm -hmm. we don't know who has an appointment who doesn't and there's no queue at all yeah. no personnel to guide the people just coming yeah. in it was such a chaos <laughs> so like uh, and it didn't look like uh, anytime soon you're gonna get uh, sorted out and get vaccinated. So while we were there, uh, it was uh, so annoying. So I decided to reschedule my appointment uh, back to the same uh, hospital. She got her vaccination done. So yeah, so I booked it again and rescheduled it to Columbia Asia and it came back and went through the same uh, process again and it went pretty smooth and yeah at the end of it the, the hospital people they also asked for a feedback you know like uh, since they were since they are getting the paid version and they want to be like uh, rated well so they gave us uh, uh, a qr code so we can give them a uh, feedback <laughs> how was it so yeah it went pretty smooth they did a good job so after getting vaccinated how did you feel like uh, Are there any yeah, actually, um, uh, a lot of my friends and uh, family members they told us like uh, some people get fever and uh, some people don't. Uh, some people just get a uh, some minor like pain on the vaccination area. So like for us, luckily we didn't get any fever for both of us. Yeah, and uh, but we both had a uh, pain on the injection side, so it yeah. Pretty yeah, it took us like two, three days to get uh, the pain get reduced. So yeah, that was the only side effect for us at least. Also, I want to add that uh, the free vaccination center, uh, all the other people who got it, my friends and family members, for them it was pretty smooth. So they were all giving a positive feedback. But sadly for us, uh, the one we got uh, was not so well. So, so it depends on case to case basis. Actually, depends we, on the state. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it depends on yeah. Your venue. Yeah. So, but uh, it went pretty smooth for other people. For us, it didn't went smooth. So, uh, but we will share what the experience we had. So we cannot share the other people's experience. So for us, the paid version was good. The free version was. <laughs> Thumbs down. Yeah, that's what it is, right? Do you want to add something else? No, that's it. So, I just want to convince everyone to take the vaccine and just to be on the safer side because of this pandemic. So, yeah. Yeah, some people are scared of getting the vaccination done. Uh, it can be for any reason because uh, it might be religious uh, beliefs for some people. It might be other reasons uh, because they're not sure. A lot of false information out on the social media, yeah. yeah, on WhatsApp, on social media. So I think it's best for everybody to go and get vaccinated as soon as you can, because uh, that's the only way we can fight this 
pandemic because we don't have any other option. So hopefully everybody who watched this video has already got vaccinated or will, will be appointment soon. We also put the video on how to book an appointment. Yep. Uh, so you can check this video and uh, you can book your appointment if you have already not done it yet. So hopefully everybody is safe and we will see you soon in the next video. And thank you for watching guys. Bye. Roll VT Bar. Hello everyone. So today we will see how to register uh, for getting the COVID vaccine. So first we'll go to, we'll open this website called covin.gov.in c-o-w-i-n.gov.in so we'll open this website and when you open this website you will see this option on the right hand side of the page it's called the register sign in so for the new users uh, you will register here so since we have already registered I'll use some other number to just show you guys how to register so we'll click on register so new window will open up we'll enter our phone number so we'll click on get OTP so, so we'll wait for the OTP and then we will enter our OTP tell me the OTP okay now we'll enter our OTP Proceed. So on the next page, you will see uh, you can register up to four members with one phone number. So you can go ahead and click on register member. Then you have to choose your ID, whichever you have Aadhaar card, driving license, PAN card, passport, passbook voter ID you can choose any one of the leave it, leave it. so yeah you can see the list of IDs that are mentioned here and you can choose any one of the IDs and uh, Say you have Aadhaar card, so choose Aadhaar card, enter your Aadhaar card number, name, gender, let's just uh, enter like, invalid okay let's uh, and enter something else maybe enter pan card and click on register you can see uh, when you click on register it goes on yeah. member has been registered and similarly you can add up to three more members total four members you can add here and after this you can go ahead and click on schedule and you can click by search by district click on your state Uh, select where you live, wherever you live. I'll uh, click Ghaziabad. 
click on search so it will show uh, all the options like uh, it's showing from 2nd till 8th all the free and paid options so uh, all the red ones means it has been fully booked and so we have to look for a green one see here only one center is available here you can see but this is only available for five and above so right now none is available for just now I'll let's scroll down okay there are more options but everything is booked so you can see here down there's one in yellow and green so these are the paid options though so you ones are all taken so you have to always look out for uh, set an alert that it will notify you whenever there is a free one so it will if you want to uh, go for the paid one like us you can go ahead uh, and use this like covaxin 37 slots on 3rd of august at apollo so you can go ahead and click on it so you can select your time slot like this say 12 to 1 and then you can click on confirm so you say appointment successful your vaccination appointment is confirmed appointment details to sms and send to sms you can see that's how you do it to book your appointment then you can click on close that's how you book an appointment